Hey, welcome back. It's been quite a while. Um, yeah, <laughs> lots of things went on uh, that uh, prevented me from uh, continuing. I think last time I uh, came to realize that I uh, made some mistakes uh, during the, the parts ordering for the DIY broom. So I have an H2, I should have an H. So uh, yeah, sorry, um, Noisy Fruits Lab that I didn't uh, finish this build earlier. I know uh, you were waiting on uh, on my feedback of, uh, uh, yeah, on, on the DIY module, but uh, yeah, other things came up. Um, I have all my parts and tools ready, so we should be good to go to wrap this one uh, up. Okay, and then I'm good to go on this repair. Split this. Okay, pulling off. Let's see what's the easiest. Yeah, to pull off the power, um, these voltage regulators. I. Uh, Careful to not blow up my capacitors. Uh, um, Stibbons, harm. I'm taking your advice seriously. Um, should have maybe used some flux to make it uh, um, a bit quicker on the uh, on the desoldering, but I left that downstairs. Um, so yeah, this is going to be it. This, the smaller legs are heating up nicely. Let me see how this works. Ooh. One gone. It's my solar wick. Let's don't grab it by hand. Done that before. is not making it better moving capacitors not a good thing try to do it this way Really don't feel this is the way. Messing up my whole thing here. No. Go and edit this out. Some dumb shit. Um, let's see. Did have some IPA here somewhere. Yeah. 
жизни. Even the solar the capacitor, nice. Way to go. Yeah. Okay, these have to go. I could save them, but I think I'll just throw them out. I have no ambition to ever use these again. And These are the H variety instead of the H2. So this is exactly what I need. And got me some new solder paste. TS39 AX10, which is the nicer variety. Too many issues with the older one being a bit poor in the reballing. Okay. Let's not overdo it. like this and reseed my capacitor here with just a little drip here okay let's see how this works out See, whenever a build takes too long, I'm getting impatient and being impatient makes me a bit sloppier than I should be. So take your time, build at your own pace and don't get frustrated like, uh, well, like me. Um, you see that cap. Actually, while uh, waiting for these parts, I actually also ordered another one of the Spin FV1 uh, DSP chips. Also ordered some more of the EEPROMs so I can program them as myself. I know I got two of the extension ROMs uh, of Noisy Fruits Lab with uh, uh, the new version one and then the old one because I really like the shimmer reverb that I know isn't in the in the new one but I'll uh, I'll build uh, that one then I'll have three and uh, you know who knows uh, uh, yeah when I'll uh, I'll need uh, I'll need three but uh, it should definitely be fun okay well hopefully this is the last time. I'm soldering anything on this board. Lots of uh, lessons learned for uh, for the next one. Um, I hope there isn't too much background noise being picked up by the mic. It's the hottest day of the year so far, so I have a fan right over there. 
And in the background, the 3D printer is uh, printing uh, uh, one of the small um, printed cases for uh, uh, Garrett uh, from PMP Modular. Um, so it takes another two hours before that's done. So there might be some, uh, some noise related to that. Let's see, yeah. it's heating up. Seeing the solder flow a little nicer than it did before on uh, on my old solder paste. Uh, no, yeah, don't overheat it. On the other hand, and. My right hand, I have slightly better control if I need to move something around. I hope I uh, don't make any mistakes that I have to edit out. Learn my lesson on streaming a build. because I made so many mistakes last time undermining my credibility as a synth DIYer. Okay. This looks about done. Now let's not touch it too fast. Um, yeah, learned my lesson knocking off some parts uh, before. So, this belly fluff. Let's see how that came out. One little ball of doom. I realized my big bottle is downstairs. I bought some of these nice little bottles for my uh, IPA um, but I haven't filled them so not much use today but uh, definitely uh, going to be used later to uh, um, to clean the board up two more little balls I mean the reballing definitely worked a lot better this time with the fresh flux when it arrived i immediately put it in the fridge even though it says um does it say refrigeration not needed but um yeah i learned my lesson on the old one that one definitely lost some of its mojo and i don't know if it's the, uh, just the aging from uh, you know being open for a year or it's actually related to not being refrigerated but um, yeah not taking any chances yeah i know i should clean this board but i also am very impatient and i've been waiting for a long time to see if this works so let me not connect this just yet. Let me see if I can hook up the tiny case. Get some power going. If 
first before I connect the main board. Well, the main board is actually the main board, the whole chip, everything is on here. If I didn't fry it last time, I, I won't fry it this time. Yep. Turn this off. And here goes nothing. Oh, I have some LEDs. Oh, look at, oh, you can't even see how gorgeous that is. Pink LEDs. Oh, this seems to be working. I mean, I'll check the voltages, but this is 100% uh, better than last time. Uh, let me see. I need a ground. Um, that's annoying. Let me go and stick this here in the ground for these jack sockets because I'm just making a mess trying to figure it out. 3.3. Eight volts. So that should be ground. Minus 12. So 12 volt here. And why? Apparently I have a four volts drop over this resistor. Um, that's a weird one. I'll have to investigate uh, that. Let me see if, uh, what happens if I plug in Seems to be working. I mean, it is on the internal. Yeah. Let me see how we can do this without blowing everything up. 
put this down. Let's see if we can get any sound out of it. No, this isn't the best way of doing things. We'll turn this all the way down. Okay, now let's see if we can get the other one to work. Okay, grab another longer cable. Okay, let's use another longer cable, which flats to marsupial. Okay. Let's see if we can. working Switching it while uh, uh, actually making um, well connect to the output isn't sounding too great. But okay. seems to be happening so okay not too bad it's we can actually get some
Not too bad. Can't use the uh, the imprompts now. Right, this is uh, bucket brigade. Okay, at least it seems to be functional. I'll uh, stop messing with it now. This isn't, this isn't all bad. Nice, quite, uh, quite pleased with this result. So now I know the board is at least somewhat functional i'll go and clean this uh, clean this up with some ipa and uh, add the other um add the two extension uh, roms uh, to it and uh, and this one should be good to go um yeah <laughs> again thanks uh, um Noisy Fruits Lab for uh, for letting me uh, try this. Um, yeah, next time I'll be a bit uh, quicker about it and a bit more professional about the build. But uh, all in all, this was uh, uh, yeah fun to do. Um, uh, it took me quite some time trying to uh, to do the live stream and and 
being unorganized, but I'll uh, I'll time the regular build on the um, on the next one, and I'm sure this uh, this should be done in uh, I guess an hour, one and a half hours. Now that I have everything uh, ready, hey, so. Yeah, thanks everybody that uh, stayed with me. Thanks for uh, for watching. Thanks for being patient for uh, for this last installment, and I'll see you. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. Okay, thanks. Bye bye.